Welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn about hypervisor, which is a go-to system between virtual machines and physical hardware. As we discussed, using virtualization, we can run multiple instances of operating systems on the same physical hardware. In other words, using virtualization, we can set up virtual machines. Now the question is, how do virtual machines, as they run on the same physical hardware, get the computing resources such as processors, memory, or storage? The answer is hypervisor. The hypervisor creates and manages virtual machines, and it also mediates communication between the host and virtual machines. Hypervisors allocate resources, or in other words, share host resources with each VM. Hypervisor is a separated and decoupled layer between the host and VM. A hypervisor allows multiple guest VMs to share host resources such as processor, memory, and storage, which means you install one hypervisor software and can set up multiple guest VMs on it. There are two main types of hypervisors. One is referred to as type 1 or bare metal hypervisor. The other one is referred to as type 2 or hosted hypervisor. A type 1 hypervisor runs directly on top of bare metal hardware acting like a lightweight OS. On the other hand, a type 2 hypervisor runs on the OS. So just to repeat that a type 1 hypervisor runs straight on the hardware and a type 2 hypervisor runs on the OS. That's the reason type 1 is referred to as bare metal and type 2 is referred to as hosted. Let's talk further about type 1 or bare metal hypervisor. It is installed directly on the hardware. In other words, type 1 replaces the operating system. In place of the operating system, we install type 1 hypervisor. Type 1 or bare metal. Hypervisor is typically most commonly deployed. There are some genuine reasons why this type of hypervisor is mainly deployed. Number 1. Since it is directly installed on the hardware as opposed to on the OS, which at times can be attack prone, this is considered to be more secure than type 2. And number two reason is that since no OS layer is involved, it performs better and more efficiently than type 2 type or hosted hypervisor. Because of security and performance reasons, type 1 hypervisors are usually preferred for enterprises when deploying hypervisors on their data centers. This is the diagram for type 1 or bare metal hypervisor. As you can see at the bottom layer, we have a physical machine, then we have type 1 hypervisor which means the hypervisor is running on the bare metal and on the top layer we have virtual machines. In the hypervisor layer, examples of type 1 hypervisors are VMware ESXi, VMware vSphere and Microsoft Hyper-V. And Zen hypervisor, an open source type 1 or bare metal hypervisor that allows multiple VMs to run the same physical hardware. Zen Hypervisor is the open source standard for hardware virtualization, KVM Hypervisor, which is a kernel-based virtual machine. It is also open source virtualization technology. KVM is a virtualization module in the Linux kernel. It allows the Linux kernel to function as a hypervisor, and that way you can run multiple VMs. Essentially, KVM module covers Linux OS into Type 1 or bare metal hypervisors, Amazon Web Services uses Zen Hypervisor. But Amazon Web Services in 2019 announced to use of KVM. Type 2 or hosted hypervisor runs on the host operating system. This is the diagram for type 2 or hosted hypervisor. As you can see at the bottom layer we have the physical hardware then the OS is installed. Since this type 2 hypervisor diagram a hypervisor is installed on the OS. Then we have virtual machines. Examples of type 2 hypervisors that run on the host operating system are Oracle VirtualBox, VMware Workstation, and Microsoft Virtual PC. The main difference between type 1 and type 2 is that type 1 hypervisor is installed on bare metal, while type 2 hypervisor is installed on the operating system.